without any form of incident and calamity, Father. Father, we bring the service before you, Father. We invite your precious Holy Spirit to have full control over the service, Father God. Father, we we just thank you, Father, that your mighty Holy Spirit is going to do a work amongst each and every single one of us in Jesus' mighty name, Father. We are here this morning to give you praise, glory, and honor, Father, and to thank you for your goodness, to thank you for our families and our church families, Father God. We just thank you, Lord, that you bless the service in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. And we love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Turn my mouth a little bit. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah.
opportunity to share the word with us today. We thank you, Lord, you will share it, you'll speak with the oracles of God with all boldness and authority, humbly sharing your word with us to set us free and to reveal your truth to us. We thank you for it, Lord. We thank you your word works, Lord. Your word's like a double-edged sword which divides body, soul, and spirit. And we thank you that that word will not return void, but it will accomplish that for which it sent forth. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me switch this one off and then I can check this one's on for you. Hello, 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 hello. Well, if they come in, we can get it all organized. I know we love this mic. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Welcome our precious family and our precious family, your star family. In the name of Jesus. Which number is Grace? Trent? Well, I really don't stand here in my own strength, but in the strength of the Lord today. Amen. Oh, well, today I'm preaching about or sharing about the, comf uh, the comforter, meaning paraclesis, paraclesis. Paraclesis. Right. He is the God of all comfort. That's what uh, Corinthians 2, 1, 6 says. He is a God of all comfort. And I know he's with each and every single one of us here today and he's comforting us in the mighty name of Jesus. He comforts the downcast. In 2 Corinthians 7, 6, and those who mourn in Matthew 5, 4, he comforts all those and he gives us strength to keep on carrying on and keeping on in Jesus' mighty name. In John 16, 7 it says, But I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the counsellor, the advocate, the helper, the comforter will not come to you. But, I go, but if I go, I will send him to you. Sorry. Sorry. Yeshua, Jesus, told his disciples that once he left, he will send a helper. And thank God he's a helper today. And he's a helper in time of need, in every need that we have. He helps us through every single thing. And he strengthens us in the name of Jesus. His, this helper is a Ruach HaKodesh in Hebrew, the Holy Spirit of God. This is one of the characters of the Holy Spirit, and that is the Holy Spirit of the Comforter. And I think uh, in this time of lockdown, or in any time where we've gone through things in our lives and we didn't know how we were going to come through it, you know, the Comforter was always there to help Amen. us Amen. through every difficult situation, through every bit of confusion, for every bit of things that we didn't know what was happening. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, was with us all the time and He never, ever left our sight. He kept pushing us forward and saying to us, it's going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Have Jesus. peace. Everything is going to be all right. Amen. Things will get better in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We can see that in the book of Job how... In the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit aided Job. Even though Job went through many attacks, trials, and tribulation, he never once doubted God's Holy Spirit to deliver him out of all the pain and suffering. And everybody knows how Job suffered uh, with all the boils that he had on his body. He had a painful life. The enemy really attacked him, pulled him down removed, uh, uh, killed his, his, his family, destroyed everything that he had. But you know, Job never once took his eyes off the Lord. And the Holy Spirit, everything that he went through, the Holy Spirit comforted him, took him through and, and strengthened him. And that's what the Holy Spirit does to every single one of us. 
He comforts us in our pain and our sorrow. He strengthens us. And you know, if we trust Him, and if we really don't know what to do, we cry out of the Holy Spirit, and He always leads and He guides us. Amen. And He pushes us forward in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Isaiah 51, 12, the Lord, the Holy Spirit says, I, even I, am He who comforts you. And in John 14, 16 to 18, And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another, yes. the Parakletos, Counselor, to be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth, the world cannot accept Him, because it neither sees Him or knows Him, but you know Him, for He lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Do, do you know, especially in this day and age, that the Holy Spirit is available to everybody who calls on Him? You know, sometimes we don't know the right choices and decisions to make, but you know what, if we cry out to the Holy Spirit and we just wait on Him, he, He's the one that will um, lead and guide us whatever we are going through. And I know in this lockdown period, many, many have been going through painful situations. They've been through trials and tribulations. They've been through, like I say, confusions. They didn't know to, where to turn, to the left or to the right. But you know what? The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, has always been there to comfort them in their pain and their sorrow and just to help them through the difficult times in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit will not leave or forsake you. Right. You know, most men will drop you. <laughs> it's true, I don't know if you've ever found that in your life. People have promised things over the years we've seen it. And, you know, you have to always wait on the Lord for something, you know. And, uh, but God will never, His Holy Spirit will never, never leave you. He'll, he'll never drop you. He'll actually lift you up in your pain and your sorrow and your trials and your tribulations. The, the Holy Spirit will lead and guide you. And you know, He'll wipe away those tears. He'll, he'll strengthen you. He'll heal you. He'll restore you. Some of us in this time have been through a lot of emotional things. We've been through a lot of pain. And, and um, really... It's been so difficult, we, we didn't know where to turn, and I'm sure you people have been the same there, but you know what? We've turned to the Holy Spirit, and we've asked Him to lead and guide us, and that's exactly what He's done. He's strengthened us, He's removed that pain, and He's really pushed us forward, sometimes into from, uh, from a comfort zone that we were in. He's pushed us out to let us really rely on Him and know that He is God, He is our source, he is our deliverer, and, and we don't have to rely on men, but we can rely on the Holy Amen. Spirit Praise who God. comforts us in all our trials and yes. tribulations. Yes. And you know, that's such a loving God that He cares for every single one of us, and, and He knows our innermost parts. He knows what we are going through, but you know what? He's never dropped any of us. And I just give Him all glory and honor for He's so precious. Even at night you lay there and you start, your mind starts festering with all sorts of doubt and fears and things. But you know the Holy Spirit says everything's going to be alright. Yes. Have peace my child, yes. everything. You know, the comforter will come to you in the most painful situations, in the most situations that a person's ever been through. Even like losing someone. It's a, been a painful uh, situation. You have to just cry out to the Holy Spirit and He's always with you. He's always consoling you. He's always wrapped His arms around you and you can just feel His closeness. It's like a, a big warm blanket over you when the Holy Spirit, the Comforter comes and, and you can feel Him pressing you and, and just removing that stuff in your life. Amen. 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 Matthew 5, 4 says, Blessed are those who mourn. For they will be comforted. The Holy Spirit is loving, gentle, kind. He feels your pain. Just know that He is there with you, comforting you. You will feel His presence, His peace, His love, His warmth. You, you'll be 
overwhelmed by his protection. Amen. Amen. We all need comfort. Now this is the kind of part that we all like. The comfort of nice food, chocolate, sweets, Liquor. any kind of food, puddings, you name it. We get comforted by the food. It makes us feel good. It really, we really just, as long as our chompers are going, we're really happy and all we feel good, especially when it's nice chocolates and all the ice creams and the sweet things. We really can really sit back and enjoy it. It's like a comfort. Our homes can be a comfort. Our beds, even a better, big, bigger comfort. But you know what? Even with all these things, you know, the most precious of all is the Holy Spirit that yes, comforts yes, us. Yes. Because when you're comforted in your spirit, that's where you, uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit brings you peace. Yes, and amen. you forget about everything that's going on around you, yes. all the, the, the wars that are going on, all the attacks and all the, 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 the trials and tribulations that are yes, going yes. on in your life. You just feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit around you. And you can feel secure in His love and, and, and His protection. Amen. 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 So even in Psalm 23 verse 4, it's really one of my very, very uh, best, well, uh, yeah, it's my favorite uh, Psalms. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and lace, your staff, they comfort me. You know how many times do I go out in the garden and I pray and I pray Psalm 91 and I pray uh, Psalm 23 and I pray for us. I pray and I, I want God to bless us. I want God to be with us and protect us from all the trials and tribulations. I want... It's so wonderful when you see what the Holy Spirit is doing in people's lives. Amen. When He's really pushing them through and He's helping and He's leading and He's guiding them. And, and they come with testimonies and say, look what the Lord has done. It's always been because of the Holy Spirit inside and working in and through us in the name of Jesus. Because He's so wonderful and He's so mighty. And yes, even in... Uh, in trials and tribulation, in turmoil, and in, in when your mind is racing, when that Holy Spirit, the Comforter, comes upon you, you can just rest in Him yes. and know everything is going to be alright. Mm. Things are going to get better. And there's nothing to fear about the future. Because when the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Counselor, is with you, you've got that security over your life yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. In Jesus name. You know, even when you get bad news or something, you'll feel the Holy Spirit comfort you. He'll restore you. He'll remove the pain. He's got plans to prosper you and yes. not to harm you. Yes. Trust the Holy Spirit for His comfort because He will always come through for you. Even in the most difficult times in your life, you will see the Holy Spirit will lead and guide. He will comfort you with and He will assure you and reassure you that things are going to be alright. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit is faithful. Whatever you've asked Him, He will lead and guide you. All the emotional stress and the pain you're going through, He will heal and restore. He will comfort. He will remove the pain and will give you strength to carry on. In Isaiah 41.10 says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The Holy Spirit is saying to you, do not be discouraged, for I will lift you out of all that is weighed you down. And you can literally feel when the Holy Spirit is at work in you, when the Comforter is, is comforting you, you will literally feel it. You will feel just the peace that surrounds, uh, that surpasses all understanding, that will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. You will just feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit in your life. The Holy Spirit, in the, uh, the Holy Spirit, there is, uh, is there to lift you out of the doom and gloom and all the depression. The Holy Spirit is there to remove the pain and the disappointments of what life has thrown at you, and all. And He is your comforter. He will wipe away yes, your tears yes, and bring yes. so much joy. Yes. You know. Um, Many of us have been disappointed, and I'm sure you've also been disappointed in your life with people, with things that have happened in your life. P 
people have hurt you and people have spoken ill about you and, and, and things didn't go well because they've tarnished your name and that. But you know what? The Holy Spirit, you might have been disappointed with everything that's gone on, but the Holy Spirit will not disappoint you. He will remove the pains and the hurts of, of life that life give you. He will, he will remove all that, all the disappointments. He will comfort you through it. And you know, at the uh, end of the day, you will have so much joy. We might have trials and tribulations this very day, in this very hour. But God's going to restore everything that the locust has eaten. Amen. Everything that the, the enemies try to rob us of. We're going to go through forward and we're going to have much joy because God brings joy into our hearts. God gives us good things. Yes. He blesses us with the best. Yes. And we don't have to look back and, and, and just remember the, the past. It's a painful thing. Thank but you. also the Holy Thank Spirit you. removes those things from our minds that have hurt us in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. So we can have confidence knowing that the Holy Spirit will comfort us in everything and if, if, even in every situation and circumstance the Holy Spirit will comfort us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Psalm 119 verse 50 says, remember your, remember your word to your servant for you have given me hope. My comfort in my suffering is your promise preserves my life. Is this your promise preserves my life? So the word of the Lord, his promise preserves our life, even in the midst of trouble and turmoil. Praise God. In Psalm 86:17, give me a sign of your goodness, a goodness that my enemies may see and be put to shame. For you, O Lord, have helped me and comforted me. You know, even when you, uh, well, I'm sure you can remember when your baby was in arms and that baby was crying and it was troubled and it was going through things. And when the mother or the father just put their arms around that baby and comforted that little thing, the baby started being so secure in the comfort of, of, of the parent's arms. And that's what the Holy Spirit does to us when we're going through things like that. He's got his arms around us and he's comforting us and he's removing the tears and he's Amen. removing yes. all the pain and the trials and the tribulations. Remember it. Remember Amen. It. Remember it. That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. We have to remind ourselves daily of God's word. We've got to remind ourselves daily of the comforter, the yes. counselor, yes. the ones that has on, our interest at heart and he wants the very, very best for us. And even what with what we've gone through, we're going to be so joyful at the end of the day. We are going to be rejoicing because our God never left our side. Our the Holy Spirit has always been there for Amen. us. He's never left our side. Even if we think we felt empty and lonely and, and disappointed and despondent and hopeless. No. The Holy Spirit, the, the Comforter, will comfort you in all your pain and Amen. sorrow and he'll strengthen you from day to day Amen. just trust that comforter because he loves you and yes. you can literally feel the presence of the holy yes. spirit Amen. in this place Amen. the comforter the helper Amen. he's going to help us out of all our troubles yes. our trials and our tribulations amen amen, amen. amen. Coming out on top. we are coming out yes yeah i nearly said something else the demi's favorite song May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and the God of our Father who loved us and by his grace has given us eternal encouragement and good hope encourage our hearts and strengthen us in our every good deed and word. Some of us are so burdened down with going on in our lives, our families, our surroundings, our finances, our future, with what we are going to eat, to what we are going to, where we are going to move to, what, well, how are we going to make it? Our minds and thoughts are so busy with the cares of the world. We have forgotten that there's someone far greater, yes. more powerful in our lives. And Hallelujah. if we lay our cares and burdens Hallelujah. on Him, we, we can rest in Him. Because He knows, he knows what we need. Amen. And we're going to, He's going to come through for us in every area of our lives. Thank Amen. You, the, uh, in Matthew 11, 28 says, Come to me all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest in your souls. 
for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thank you, Lord. One does not see the Spirit of God losing control of the circumstances, nor or not knowing what is he must do or being confused about anything. No, he has full control of every situation and circumstance. With a power and authority that was given to him by God, he works everything by the word to him, and we have everything in our lives. We need to have a, live a peaceful life full of uh, no anxiety and stress and fear in the name of Jesus. We don't need to have those things in our lives because, and some of us are so used to hanging on to stress, hanging on to disappointments, hanging on to fear, but we don't need to do that because we have the comforter and the counselor just aiding us in all our distress and our pain. Amen. 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 How does God comfort me in times of distress? If we look at uh, Romans 8.26, He prays for me. You know the Holy Spirit makes intercession for every single one of us. He prays for us. And sometimes we forget He's, he's on the throne room, uh, in, the, in the throne room of God. And he's praying, He's praying for each and every single one of us because He knows our needs. And He's praying day and night, 24-7. He's God, our interests at heart, and He's praying for us all the time so we know we can have confidence. He hears our prayers yes. and He's praying for us, and He will answer us yes. in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. In Psalms 10, verse 11, He listens to us with everything that we are going through. The Holy Spirit is listening to us, and He's working on our behalf. Even behind the scenes, He's working for us. In Psalm 94, 19, he gives me hope and cheer. He brings cheer and He brings joy into our hearts. So we know that we don't have to walk around full of um, sorrow all the time. No, there is a time for that. But you know, God's joy, when it's, it comes into your heart, you might feel sad, but in, this, in your heart you can feel joyful. Yes. Because God has got your interests. Yes. And, and, the, and the word of the Lord says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. He doesn't want us to... Be weighed down by all these things that are happening in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. He's Amen. got good things coming to us. Yes. It's true. It's he wild. gives me hope and cheer. In Psalm 119, 50 to 52, He revives me with His word. How many times how you go down heavy laden and you go out and you start preaching or you start confessing his word over and over the joy of the lord is my strength yes. he's my help he's my aid he's my he's my uh, uh, shepherd i shall not lack he leads me beside white waters and you start confessing the word of god over and over you know what the heaviness and the and the distress and those things that are weighing you down actually lifts off you mm -hmm. and you feel in your spirit so much lighter and you feel that the Holy Spirit has been busy ministering to you all this time and he's been comforting you in all the uh, all this time amen. amen so never feel lonely never feel disheartened because the comforter is with you yes. all the time yes. and he's busy comforting you in all that you are going through amen amen thank you Jesus Psalm 119.76 he loves me. He loves you. He loves every single one of you. And you know, it doesn't matter what we've done. We might have messed up. Even in, before church, we might have messed up. But you know, God forgives us. He's such a loving God. He's a, he's a, he's a forgiving God. He's a, he's a God that doesn't remember what we've done. And we might feel condemned in our hearts, but the Holy Spirit is there to comfort us to lead and to guide us and, and to remove all those ugly thoughts and things in our minds. The Holy Spirit is there in every area of our life. Just call out and the Holy Spirit will comfort you. Yes. In 2 Thessalonians uh, six, uh, 16 to 17, He is our eternal hope. Just think if we never had hope in our lives, We'd be walking around like zombies. We'd really be confused. We'd be in such a big mess up in our lives. But you know what? The Holy Spirit knows all that we need. He will comfort us. He will help us through our situations. 
How can we comfort others? You know what, sometimes when we've been through pain and things, and you see somebody else in pain, you really want to go out to them and you want to really comfort them. You want to, you want to comfort them. And, and the word, you can put your arms around them, you can pray for them. But you know what? It's by the, the, the comfort with the, the, the presence and the comfort with the Holy Spirit that will remove that pain, remove that stress and, and that fear and even illness. When you go through tests and trials, the Holy Spirit is there with you, comforting you and strengthening you. You can literally feel the strength of the Holy Spirit in you when you feel weak and tired and want to give up. The Holy Spirit, the Comforter, will lead you to quiet waters and he'll restore your soul and he'll give you hope for the future. You know, let me just tell you about Job. In all, in a verse, in uh, Psalm 40, yes, in Job 42, I think it's 11, but the whole of uh, Job 42, you know what? He was, he was given back everything that the enemy robbed him of. He lived so much better. He had such good health. God, what the enemy intended for evil and robbed him of everything, God gave him double for everything that he went through. And all his friends came rejoicing with him. They came and they brought him gifts. They came and brought him well wishes. They came and just loved him. And, and every one of Job's friends came to him because of the suffering that he went through. But they realized that uh, he was listening to God all the time and he was never discouraged by the terrible things that he went through. The pain and the suffering and the sickness and the loss and the disappointments and, and, and everything that Job went through. God gave him double and he, re he just received blessing after blessing. The time of sorrow was past. His season of sorrow had passed and there was a Tom, a season of great rejoicing, and it's because of the Holy Spirit that comforted him all these years. It never left, uh, the comforter never left his side, and so he had everything double of what he ever Amen. lost in Amen. Jesus' name. And that's what the comfort is going to do for every single one of us. If we didn't ever have peace, if we've just had turmoil and, and, and all sorts of things going on, the Comforter is going to give us double this morning. He's going to give us peace. He's going to restore those broken areas in our lives. That we don't have to have any more fear. As we just open our hearts and our lives to the Comforter, just He's going to minister. Even when you something's happened in your family, you've had bad news and you rush there and that, the Comforter is with you, Amen. comforting you and strengthening you and giving you peace of mind because He will never leave or forsake you. We just thank the Lord for this this morning. And Father, we just thank you, Lord. There's another um, 1 Corinthians 4.13. By our words, we can also comfort other people. We can... We can be there for other people when they're going through sorrow, trials and tribulations. You know, don't always just think of yourself because the person next to you is probably going through much worse than what you are. So go out, reach out to them, be a comfort to them. Even if it's just a, a word of encouragement or a prayer or, or something like that. But don't just leave them unaided, just a little word of or love or a hug or whatever. I know we're in lockdown, we're not allowed to, well, not really supposed to do things like that. But you know what, just know that the Holy Spirit is comforting every single one of us. Over the years, the Holy Spirit has been with us. In uh, our family's lives, when they've been very ill and they've gone on to heaven, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, was always there healing our brokenness, Amen. healing our broken hearts. The Holy Spirit will not leave you. He will not leave you unaided. But He will always, always comfort you in times of Amen. distress, in times of sorrow, in times of fear. The Holy Spirit will comfort you yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. So just trust in Him Jesus today. Amen. Don't allow strife Amen. to come in because that's what the devil does. He, he, he wants you to 
I know in this lockdown period and now we didn't know where to, what to do, and then you, your family start arguing with each other and, 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 and you forget the strife wants to attach itself to you, but you know what, we must allow the Holy Spirit to just comfort us in our times of stress and things that we are going on. The Holy Spirit will not leave or forsake you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus, right. So Amen. take heart, have peace in this day and age. Doesn't matter what's going on. The Holy Spirit needs what you, uh, knows what you need. He knows your things that are going on. But He's going to make a way for every single one of us. So we don't have to have fear or anxiety. But we can have comfort knowing that He comforts Amen. us. He comforts us with his peace. And we just thank him for that right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for that right now in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, in, in, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You know, in, you were saying about Job, and in Job 42.10, <coughs> that's where it says, and the Lord restored Job's losses. When he prayed for his friends, indeed the Lord gave Job twice as much yeah. As he had before, and it's when people offend us or upset us, and we hang on to it. Yes, we you can't let go of it. You can't. You that can't. blocks the blessing it from does. coming. You cannot. You cannot. In Jesus. You name. cannot have ill feelings towards anybody. You've got to walk with a forgiving heart. And you know what? Sometimes people irk you. Sometimes people get get under your skin, but you can't allow that to 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 uh, uh, offend you. You can't allow those things to pull you down. You have to, like yesterday, I became quite offended with somebody. I felt in my heart. And I said, no, hey, De Debbie. I said, no. I said, no, I, Lord, bless them. I, I forgive them. I, I bless them, Lord. Bless them. I want you to bless them. And you've got to mean it in your heart because the devil will always put stuff in your mind and make you um, feel ugly thoughts to, towards somebody, you know, that's what the devil wants to do, that's where he wants to rob us of our joy and that, but you know, at least we can be, to, uh, we can just, the moment that thought comes into our minds, we can say, no Lord, bless them and forgive them, then we are free, and I want to be free, I don't want to have things weighing me down and hanging down onto me and uh, making me all miserable, because the Holy Spirit is the comforter and he will give you peace. Doesn't matter what's going on in those people's lives there. Let them continue and carry on. As long as you are standing right with the Lord, everything will work out fine in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. saying to you this morning we've been doing this series on the Holy Spirit what has he been talking into your lives what has he been saying to you in Jesus name he wants to comfort you yes. in your time of trouble yes, he, does. he wants to lift you out of the if you feel like you're in the mire he wants to lift you out of the mire and put you on a rock in Jesus name we always must be aware of the presence of the Holy Spirit oh, yes. walking with us, oh, yes. with his arm around us, oh, yes. trying to lead us and to guide us 
But sometimes it's our intellect, this thing here between our ears, it gets in the way. And we block him. But he wants to help you today. What's he saying into your life right now? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I think that you can just go around and do the rest of it.
Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Peace and strength, love and power from the Holy One, the Lamb of God, on you all the time, on you all the time. says, I love you forever. I love you forever. You see, God's got this rich, intimate relationship with you. And you know, when we're singing this song, he's singing to you as well. I could sing of your love forever. 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 And that's with all of us. He loves us so much. And he wants to experience our love. He wants to know our love. He wants to feel our love. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I just pray for this. In Jesus' name. Well, I need name. to put every prayer request book this morning. But Father, I bring every precious person before you. Yes. Father, we bring those people in the prayer request book. We bring our precious, beautiful families here, Father God. Father, those that even should be here, the Murrays, the, the Prince Luz, the four sisters. The Murrays should be back. They, they should be back, you. yes, Father. And we bring... Um, even uh, Sean and Joanne, Father God, we pray for them, Father God. We ask you, Lord, to bring them all back, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you are their shepherd. They shall not lack in any area of their lives, Father God. We just thank you, Lord, for new beginnings, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for healing. Father, we bring uh, uh, Angie, Angie and Brigitte before you, Father. We bring Mark, we bring Marion, we bring Carol before you, we bring Titan before you, Father God. Father, we bring um, uh, Deline, we bring um, JD before you, Father God. Father, those that we've promised to pray for, we bring Linda before you, Father God. We bring these people, even that doesn't come to our remembrance now, Father. You know who they are, Father. We just pray, Lord, that you comfort them. Comfort them in their sorrow, Father. Comfort them and heal and restore them, Father God. Just bless them, Father God. Heal them, Father God. Give them peace of mind, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you're going to put joy back into their hearts, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that you will provide all their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus, Father. And in the name of Jesus, Satan, I destroy every assignment uh, that you've put against us, our families, our children, grandchildren, brothers and sisters, and our church family. In Jesus' name. It will have no effect over our lives in any way, form, or shape in Jesus' name. But the blessing of the Lord is on us, and the blessing of the Lord makes rich, and He adds no sorrow to it. Father, that the Lord bless and keep these precious people. Make your face shine upon them, be gracious to them, give them peace in Jesus' mighty name. Father, put a skip in their step, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, Father. Amen.